Hi Virgo, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what does your person not say to you? What does your person not say to you? Now, this is going to be in regards to how they feel about you, what their intentions are with you, and what actions they plan on taking towards you. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say that my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, let's get started. I'm going to ask the cards. Um, what does your person not say to you in regards to how they really feel about you? Get one shuffle. All right, Virgo. First card we have here is the Sun card in reverse. You might be dealing with a Leo for some of you. We have Four of Wands. We have Seven of Wands in reverse. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse. And we have the nine of cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck we have the death card in reverse could be a scorpio also for some of you also a pisces we have here all right let's see could be any sign though okay how does this person feel about virgo I'm seeing a lot of unhappiness here in the in these bottom cards. They're very unhappy. They're very discontent. Um, they're very stressed out also. This is someone who might have let you go with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe they let, they let you go or they sacrificed this relationship with you. For some reason, I'm getting that. There's the there was there there was the opportunity here for a stable relationship with the four of wands upright. I mean, the the opportunity was there, but I feel like this person turned their back to this opportunity. Um, with you. Or um. Yeah, it could be they let you go, they turned their back on you, or they, did, they didn't fight for you with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Um, and they're really upset here with the Nine of Cups in reverse and, and heartbroken also, um, because this is something that they really wanted with you, with the Four of Wands. Mm. They didn't want things to be over here with the death card in reverse. So they might have felt like they might they might have felt like cir cir circumstances obligated them to to give up to give up on you or to let you go with the four of pentacles in reverse. Like it's not because they wanted to, it's like external influences or circumstances external circumstances didn't didn't provide the ideal um, setting or environment or energy whatever it might be and for you two to be together something just was not was not optimal was not ideal hmm. Okay, I need a little clarification here. There's a lack of confidence here with the Six of Wands in reverse um, and the High Priestess. Somebody is giving someone the silent treatment. Hmm. 
Keep in mind, rules can be reversed, okay? All right, so let's do a clarification here of the sun. Tell me about the sun in reverse. They might also feel like you're you're the one who gave up on them or you let them go. Maybe it wasn't them. They they for some of you it's the it's it's that they feel like you you didn't fight for this relationship or you um, walked away from them or it turned your back to them. Okay, just take it as it resonates, whichever whichever role it is. Tell me about the sun in reverse. We have the two of cups. Yeah. So this person definitely wants a relationship with you. I mean, this is someone who's in love with you, Virgo. They are in love with you. And they... They, I, they had high hopes. They had high hopes or high expectations for this relationship. They thought it would be forever. Okay, give me another one for the sun. The seven of wands, but but they feel like you blocked them. Either they blocked you or you blocked them. Somebody blocked someone here. Or somebody pushed someone away here with the seven of wands. Um, it might be that they feel like you pushed them away or you blocked them. And then they had no choice but to give up give you up because it's like they can't force you to to be with them you know like i said keep in mind roles can be reversed all right tell me about the four of wands the hangman okay so the hangman um pisces energy So it's stuck, right? The hangman is about things being stuck. So this relationship, it's not, it's not progressing. It's stuck right now. It's it's like in limbo. Tell me about the seven of wands in reverse. We have the shadow side, also known as the devil here in this deck. The devil. So someone. Um, hmm. Someone blocked the other person out of fear. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. The Justice card. So whenever the Justice card comes out, it could represent that someone was married or someone was someone was not available to be in a relationship or to 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 give commitment to the yeah um, to give a okay. What am I trying to say? To be committed. They weren't available to be committed. Because they were already in a commitment with someone else or married. Tell me about the Four of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles. So this person is juggling here with the Two of Pentacles. Um, should I say something? Should I take action or should I not? Should I fight for this or should I not fight for this? Tell me about the Nine of Cups. We have the Nine of Swords. So yeah, this person is overthinking here strongly. Um, they're very much conflicted. They're very much in their head. I think this is someone who really doesn't want to lose you. I mean... It, I think that's their worst nightmare. I think this is this is someone who their worst nightmare is to lose you because their heart is very heavily invested in you. But some sort of um, there some sort of uh, negative circumstances I might be surrounding this relationship external influences especially with the justice card and they felt like they had to you know um give you up or just hold back from you 
or stay away from you or like I said or they feel like you have kept your distance with them and it's like they don't know how to get you back okay so I hope that made sense to you Virgo and let's see what are their intentions and desires I mean we already saw their intentions and desires but let's take a deeper look Okay, what are this person's intentions and desires with Virgo? Please show me. Virgo intentions and desires that this person has with you first card we have is the king of cups yeah this person really loves you they they have really strong feelings for you strong connection here this person might be a little obsessed with you also I'm getting a little bit of an obsession energy what else we have the seven of swords we have the judgment card we have the six of cups the queen of cups and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to marry you for some reason. I'm getting a strong kind of marriage type of energy. Yeah. Yeah, so for some of you, I'm seeing that this person's desires and intentions is to um, get married. And to, you know, build a life together and to... Um, escape together seven of swords is here it's, it's like they want to run off to run off into the sunset with you this is someone who sees you as their soulmate with the six of cups they see you as you are their soulmate you are their um their divine counterpart um i mean we do have here the king of cups and the queen of cups so they see you as their perfect match um, and they want to have something committed here in, on long term. Yeah, because it goes from the Queen of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles. It made, that makes me feel a marriage. Mm -hmm. And the Judgment card, it's like they want to start over with, start over with you or have a second chance with you. Um, but yeah, they want to live their life with you. They want to build a life with you, build a future with you. Um, and I feel like this person doesn't have any doubts about how they feel about you. Okay, there's a sneaky energy here though with the Seven of Swords. Maybe they want to, like I said, somebody may be married here already or, or have a commitment already with someone else and then... Um, some sneaking has to be done. It's like they want to keep it quiet, whatever it is that you two have together. They don't want anyone to know. They want to keep it quiet. Hmm. All right. So let's see what actions they plan on taking towards you, Virgo. What actions does this person plan on taking towards Virgo in the near future?
All right, Virgo, first card we have here is the Ace of Wands. Well, this is a card of action. Um, this is the number one card that represents action. Yeah, they plan on ta um, taking action towards having a new beginning with you. They're very confident about wanting to be with you and wanting to have a future with you. So they're definitely going to be taking action towards having a new beginning. Next card is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, something happened between you two that, that created a, a bad separation here. Um, but they're ready to they're ready to heal the relationship here with you and start over. We have the Hermit card. Okay, I feel like they've done a lot of thinking. They've done a lot of um, meditation and contemplation about exactly what it is that they want to do with you. And I feel like they're done thinking. They, they know exactly where they want to head towards with you. And they want to head towards commitment here. Okay, two of swords in reverse, yeah, and knight of pentacles upright, yeah, that's what I said, commitment, long-term commitment, and two of swords in reverse means that, like I said, they're done thinking about it, they're done analyzing it, you know, I think this is someone who's who's ready to take action if you are, if you are willing to um, reciprocate. Okay. So that's what I see there, Virgo. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.